Hello, this is Spartan Commander, and this is the 395th Rome Total War Brotherhood game that I've put onto YouTube. As you know, I usually put uh, a battle on just on a Saturday morning, um, but today I got up and there was nobody on the computer, so I thought I'd put a Sunday bonus battle on. Um, as you can see, it's been fought on the flat grassy map, and our first teammate is Legion 22, who has bought the Rome Brutio faction. As you can see there, I think he's got nine infantry and five archers. Let's have a look at the upgrades on his infantry. I see he's just got six upgrades, gold shield, gold attack on his infantry, um, but only nine of them and six cavalry. So I'm thinking he spent a lot of money on his cavalry here. Let's just have a look. Oh yes, he certainly has. As you can see, his Praetorian cavalry are fully upgraded. Okay, maximum upgrade. Three experience stripes, gold shield, gold attack. Now Praetorian cavalry do really good with just gold shield, gold attack on, but you fully upgrade them. Three experience stripes, gold shield, gold attack, and that kind of makes this elite cavalry super elite. You may well be looking at battle winning troops there. Okay, so that's an interesting army build there. Only nine infantry. Five uh, five archers and six maximum uh, upgraded cavalry. So that's an interesting army build, and it'll be interesting to see how well it does during the course of the battle against really good players. Okay, our second teammate is myself, Spartan Commander, who has bought his Macedon army here. Now this army was built years and years ago, actually to counter Greek cities. Okay, it's fifteen pikes and five Cretan archers and this is a custom built army as I said maybe built maybe 11 12 years ago to counter a Greek city's army so the other team one on the other team have got a Greek city um, faction there but notice no cavalry as I say this is built solely to take on the Greek city's faction okay our third teammate is um, Brotherhood member Lando a lot of you know him as Turbo and as you can see there he's got nine infantry five archers so look at the upgrades on his infantry. Okay, the upgrades on his infantry, eight upgrades. That's two experience stripes, gold shield, gold attack. My guess is he's probably got mixed upgrades there. Eight upgrades, there's seven upgrades there. So he's got an experience stripe, gold shield, gold attack on some of his units and eight upgrades on the others, okay? There goes another one there with seven upgrades, experience stripes, gold shield, gold attack. So yes, he's only got nine infantry, but they are very well upgraded. They say he got five archers and six cavalry. Because he spent his money on his infantry, I wouldn't think his cavalry will have many upgrades. Nope, his cavalry are just gold shield, gold attack. Okay, so that's another interesting army build there. But those infantry are very well upgraded. It'll be interesting to see how well they do during the course of the battle. This has got the ingredients to be a great one. I hope you enjoy it. And here is the other team. Okay, we have RTW player Paglia. A lot of you will know Paglia. Very good, a 31k player. And as you can see, he's bought the Greek cities faction. And if you count here, you'll see he's got 20 Spartan units, okay? But if you look closely at the upgrades, can you see he's only got three upgrades? Now I'm guessing there's either three attack or three defense there. But veterans watching this, I wonder if you would agree with me that yes, Spartans have got two hit points, excellent specifications, excellent morale, but I do think you need gold shield, gold attack on them to get the most out of them. So by only having three upgrades, is he going to get the most out of these Greek city units? It'll be interesting to see during the course of the battle there. That's 20 units of Spartans, no archers. Um, and as you can see, he split his, um, his army into two armies there. Um, so I think it'll be interesting to see how he plays um, this uh, army of his during the course of the battle. Okay, their next teammate is um, IOW SRAX. A lot of you will know SRAX. I'm guessing here that he's bringing an experimental Spanish army here, or whether he might feel quite confident that he can bring that army and still beat us. So I'm not really sure. But as you can see there, um, there's some units here you might not have seen because you very rarely see Spain brought to the... Um, 31k battlefield now these are bull warriors if you notice can you see that there are horns on their helmets like kind of holding the sun i think that's supposed to show there now these bull warriors are extremely expensive okay and it takes a lot of money to upgrade them but really um they're not anywhere near as good as urban cohorts so um the uh, the bull warriors look like they got good specifications extremely dear but actually in battle you'll see that they're not as good as they kind of look on paper Okay, the only good cavalry they got are the long shield cavalry, which are light cavalry. And I see that he has fully upgraded his light cavalry. So that's three experience stripes, gold shield, gold attack for those uh, long shield light cavalry there. Okay, there's a close-up of them, as a lot of you may not have seen uh, Spanish uh, cavalry before. As I say, very rare to see Spain brought to the modern 31k battlefield there. I see he's got six cavalry. 
I think he's got nine bull warriors there, and he's got his Balearic slingers. Okay, he looks like he split his army into two there, um, with the bull warriors, four in one army, and I think it's at six in the other. Uh, it be interesting to see how well Spain does on the modern day battlefield. And their third um, teammate there is RV Earth. Now a lot of you will know RV Earth. He used to be in the Brotherhood clan, but now he's, I think he's the leader of RV uh, clan now. Very good player. Um, excellent CWB as well as 31k. I think he's got uh, seven archers there. I think it's seven archers or is it six? Might be six archers there. But only um, eight infantry. Okay, and if you look at his infantry, can you see they've just got gold shield, gold attack on. So I'm thinking here that he spent most of his money on his cavalry. Now I know he likes well upgraded cavalry. Let's have a look and see what upgrades he's put on them. Okay, oh my gosh, they are fully upgraded. Three experience stripes, gold shield, gold attack. Now we've talked about these cavalry earlier. These Praetorian cavalry are elite and do really good with just gold shield, gold attack. But fully upgraded there, you could be looking at battle winning cavalry there, okay? That's how serious that cavalry is. So there's the other team. It's got the potential to be a classic battle. And I hope you enjoy it with all the different factions. Okay, it's very early stage of the battle here. We know that Lando is a very aggressive attacking player here, and it wouldn't surprise me if he kicked the battle off on this flank, attacking the Red Julii RV Earth's army there. Okay, running forward towards RV Earth there. Now, this is a very difficult battle to film because there was so much action going on on both flanks, so it is difficult to, to get all the action for you. So uh, we may well be jumping from one flank to the other, but that's where... Uh, that's where the battle actually took place on the two flanks here, okay? So as you can see here, the Spanish ally there is moving his forces up um, towards Lando's attacking troops. You can see my Macedon uh, army there in its block formation. A very effective uh, formation for me, this block formation here. And of course, my army there is aimed, custom built, aimed to take on the Greek cities, okay? So that's what I want to aim for there, the Greek cities. So uh, that's why my custom army there, and you can see that uh, Legion 22's Brutio troops there may well go for Spain, or he may well try and help me against the Greek cities, we just have to see. But the alarming thing at the moment is that the Spain is moving up towards Lando. Now Lando, being very aggressive and attacking, has got himself a little bit isolated up there, if Spain does decide to hit him in the flank. You can see here he's moving away from us all the time. Yeah, it's great to be aggressive, great to be attacking, but... Um, he is, he is a long way away from us, and Spain now is moving up to his flank, so he's going to have to be very, very aware of that. Let's see, uh, the Julio, pl Julio player here is moving his infantry back, but all the time he's using his archers there to target um, Lando's uh, troops. Lando's got his archers there, but they're primed for hitting from those Spanish troops moving in. Can you see those Spanish troops moving towards Lando's archer units there? Fast-moving uh, long-shield cavalry uh, moving up to try and take his archers out. As I say, it looks like the Spanish contingent is definitely moving over to our left flank here to try and take on Lando. Now, can you see Legion spotted that? Now, remember, he's got also got elite cavalry, fully upgraded cavalry here, and he's chasing those Spanish bull warriors down with his cavalry. If you notice, I'm moving my Mastodon pointment up towards our left flank, and I can see the danger that Lando's in as well. <clears throat> okay, you can see Legion here chasing down those bull warriors with his cavalry. <clears throat> Now what I'd like to see is a sandwich attack here. Lando's SPQR cavalry smashing into the front of Spain and then Legion's cavalry smashing into the rear. A really nice uh, Spanish sandwich as we could say here. Okay, that would be really great. Right, okay, um, Legion spotted it now. He's gonna charge his cavalry into the rear of Spain, going for the general. Okay, make no mistake, let's pause the game for a second. Nice tactical hit here by Legion, going for the Spanish general. Now, Spain's morale's poor anyway. You take out the general, and you could start a mass route here. So that's a nice targeted surgical hit there by Legion, straight into the back of Spain. Plus, as I say, um, can you see here, both players have all attacked. They're both fighting with their heavy swords instead of light lances. Okay. But uh, as I say, um, it's like a uh, Spanish sandwich here between Brutio Cavalry and SBQR Cavalry here. Now, as I say, if that general routes, if that Spanish general routes, you may well see a Spanish mass route here. And bang! As those cavalry units are smashing into the rear of that general. 
Okay, you can already see a lot of Spanish. Okay, the Spanish general has now been routed. And can you see those Spanish troops there have now started a mass rout? There's some more bull warriors coming down, four units of bull warriors coming down. But the majority of the Spanish troops have now been routed. But if we don't chase them down, remember chasing route is very important. Then they may well reform and come into the rear of us. So we'll have to be careful of that. Meanwhile, over here, you can see the RVs, um, Earth's fully upgraded cavalry here smashing into um, <coughs> Lando's infantry. He's taking full advantage of Lando paying attention to Spain and uh, RV's uh, Earth there smashing into the rear of his troops with his cavalry. Okay, over here on our right flank, you can see that the Greek city's general is trying to engulf our brutal ally there with his Greek city units. Remember, that's 20 Spartan units. I'm running my mastons down as fast as I can to try and and target those Greek city units. Make no mistake here, Pagli will be trying to route my uh, Brutio ally as fast as he can before my Macedon Pike can get down there. <clears throat> okay, if you notice here, Pagli is sending out some blocking units. Okay, nice tactical move there by Paglia, sending out uh, Greek city Spartan blocking units there to stop me getting to his main army to stop him trying to take out my Brutio ally there. So say, nice tactical move. Can you see how aggressive he's being with his Greek cities? Really pushing those Spartans into um, Legion's Brutio troops here. But as I say, I've charged my Maston troops down there. As, he, as I say, he's put some blockers over there to try and stop me. But I'm going to try and get to my Brutio early before <coughs> too much damage is done. Okay, meanwhile over here on our left flank, as I say, this is a battle of flanks here. Trying to get from one flank to the other to show you all the action. Kind of a bit difficult, but I'll get as much as I can here. Now remember, this this red Julii um, cavalry is fully upgraded cavalry, okay? Not to be messed with. Um, so, but you can see Lando's forces have been quite depleted there, and there are rallied Spanish bull warriors coming up here to attack him as well. Okay, so Lando is not only facing uh, the Julii infantry and fully upgraded cavalry, but he's also facing the bull warriors that are attacking his flank at the moment. Okay, this is a nice move here by Lando. He's moving not just cavalry but infantry in here to try and take out that Julio cavalry. But if you notice, there's that fully upgraded other Julio cavalry coming in behind him. Bang! As they smash into his units here. <clears throat> Plus his SBQR infantry that are running forward are being hit by missiles thrown by Earth's infantry. So all those units there are going to be weakened by pilot hits. Okay, let's just pause the game for a second here. So. <clears throat> I say Lando's doing quite well to be holding as good as he can against all those Julio forces. Plus, as I say, those bull warriors are coming up into his flank as well. Okay, so our left flank is not looking very good. As I say, Lando got himself a little bit isolated there. But meanwhile, back down here on the right flank, you can see that um, Paglia has forced his Spartans through my allies' Brutii infantry. Okay, he's forced them through aimed at the rear of the mare so his Spartans are running through my allies formation here so what I'm doing now I'm running my Macedon pike army through here to engage those Spartan units okay now this block formation of mine has proved very effective over the last 12 or 13 years so it'll be interesting to see how well it can do <coughs> against those Spartans remember Legion here has got his um, archers in close formation so those arrows are going to cause a lot of impact damage there because his archers in close formation Okay, so as you can see here, I'm moving forward towards Greek cities. Now, Pagli is going to take Spartans around the rear, I reckon. What do you reckon? Veterans watching this? <coughs> I think that's what you do. It take Spartan units around the rear of my um, block formation there. Meanwhile, over here on our left flank, unfortunately for us, I think Lando's just got three units left. Two battle-damaged infantry units and one archer unit against all those Julio troops and those bull warriors. So, <coughs> after a fierce fight... And a little bit of isolation, our left flank looks like it's going to be broken. Okay, make no mistake about that, our left flank is going to be broken. So we've got to try and do what we can on the right flank there. See my archers here, and notice I've got those in quite tight formation as well for more impact to do more damage. I'm moving them over to um, <coughs> over to the flank a little bit there to maybe help my, uh, my infantry there with uh, hitting the enemy with archers, with the uh, arrows. Right, you can see my... Um, long piked Macedon pike we're moving forward there into the Greek cities uh, what um, Paglia do I try and hold and pin at the front of my units there with his Greek cities while well, he moves other units around the side or even around the rear of my um, my formation there as you can see my Brutio allies lost a heck of a lot of his infantry there already 
And as I say, you can see uh, Paglia moving those Greek city units. He's probably going to come all the way around, either smash into the rear there, or maybe even come round a little bit further and smash into the rear units that I'm attacking there. So uh, it'll be interesting to see where he's going to put his Greek cities. But remember, his Greek city units just had three upgrades on. And as I said before, I think that really to get the most out of Spartans, you need gold shield, gold attack to get the most out of them. So, um, as I say, a lot of the Spartan units have routed already. Alright, that's bad news for us. Our Bruto Allies General's just been taken out. So we've lost the morale bonus there of, um, of our Bruto General. If you notice, I've turned units here to face the, uh, the threat of those Greek cities. And I'm, meanwhile, I'm pushing forward into those other Greek city units there. Okay, on our left flank, what we've said earlier has come uh, to pass here. Our left flank, after a fierce battle, has now been taken out. Our left flank has now been broken and the enemy will look to roll us up from left to right. Okay, if you just at a glance at the enemy troops that are there, they are a lot of enemy troops that are moving towards us. The morale will be high after defeating um, our ally there on the left flank. And so we're going to have to uh, be extremely careful how we play this. But as I say here, I'm pushing my Maston Pikeman into those forward Greek city units and all the time there um, trying to defend the rear of my... Uh, attacking units there right you can see those two um, Spartan units there that he bought all the way around the back and are going to attack into the rear of those <coughs> attacking massed on units of mine um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn some pike units that are here and I'm going to charge them into the flank of those two Greek city attacking units there meanwhile here can you see I'm pushing my pike units forward into those Greek city units what I'd like to do is take out that Greek city's general that would be the thing I'd like to do if I can, but as you can see, the enemy, the victorious enemy troops on the other flank are running forward here to try and get into the rear of my engaged Macedon troops. Let's say here, I'm moving forward, being very aggressive with my Macedonians here. But of course, attacking, being aggressive, tires my troops out. Right, you can see a lot of the Greek city units are starting to rout now. I just want to take out that, right, the Greek city's general has now been routed. And as you can see, we have now routed all of the Greek city units. Okay, and don't forget all the time legions archers were shooting into the rear of those Greek city units there, uh, causing uh, casualties lowering their morale. So that was kind of like a sandwich hit there between archers and my pikemen. But as you can see, the victorious enemy troops are moving forward there to um, engage our Macedon troops and the Brutio infantry that we've got left. As I say, I think Legion 22's infantry took a lot of casualties there um, when uh, the Greek cities were engaging them. So I'm not sure how many um, troops he's got left there against these enemy troops coming in here. I think um, Earth now is probably seeing his Greek city allies been taken out, so he probably won't run his infantry. Obviously, he doesn't want to tire or have his infantry winded. Just rest in them now, and he'll have fresh troops to take on my tired pikemen there. I think that's a nice tactical move there. Just walking his troops forward, look, resting them knowing that my troops will be tired after that okay now can you see those fully upgraded um julii cavalry now are attacking my archers okay and maybe i should have been a little bit more battlefield aware and bought those archers over here to be protected by my allies cavalry uh, that was a, i think that was um, a mistake by myself there because i think my archers now are going to get taken out by that fully upgraded julii cavalry <coughs> As you can see here, the uh, the enemy troops moving forward. I say it looks like uh, I can see that um, legions uh, archers are still holding their bows, so they've still got arrows left. But I'm guessing they haven't got a lot of arrows left there. I say legion here chasing after. We notice legions cavalry are in wedge formation and. Um, Earths are in normal formation. Remember, normal formation, the cavalry run faster than uh, in wedge formation, okay? So my guess is Legion probably won't be able to capture those um, Julii cavalry at this stage. Okay, now I'll be interested to see if those bull warriors have still got pilots. Remember, bull, Spanish bull warriors can throw pilots or spears, javelins, whatever you'd like to call them that they use. Okay, so it'll be interesting to see if they've still got some left to throw into my uh, Maston pikemen there. As you can see, 18 men in one unit, 43 in another, 50. Remember, these are 121-man units. Look at the casualties I've suffered there, especially in those forward units, okay? So because I've suffered a lot of casualties, my morale's not going to be very good. I've still got my general, 
but uh, the morale still not going to be very good within individual units because of the casualties they've taken. And as I say, if those Julio infantry or those Bull Warriors have still got pilots left, that could be problems for me. Look at Legion's troops. Look. Very small amount of infantry left. Extremely battle damaged against these enemy troops. Okay. So this uh, could be a very tactical battle here because even though they've got superiority in numbers, they probably don't want to take my pikemen on head on. So they'll be looking to um, for a tactical attack here is what I'm thinking. And as you can see, um, S-Rex is moving his bull warriors forward first. As I say, my guess is he's probably still got some um, javelins to throw. And as I say, I have lost all my Cretan archers now. All right. And um, Legion 22 is chasing down those... Um, Julia yet yeah, cavalry that are up there at this time but as I say I've got a feeling those bull warriors because they were hit so early in the battle have still got their javelins to throw yep I can see those javelins being thrown into my uh, yeah, look at those javelins being thrown into my forward units plus there's archers arrows coming in on me as well <coughs> so I've got uh, not just the bull warriors javelins but loads of archers from earth's uh, uh, sorry, uh, loads of arrows coming into me from Earth's archers there, weakening my uh, forward units all the time. Okay, let's just pause the game for a second. Okay, so Legion's done very well. He's just routed the Julio General. Okay, so the Julio troops now have lost their general morale bonus. And if you look, um, Legion's still got a lot of his cavalry left. Now, will that prove pivotal? Will that amount of cavalry prove pivotal towards the end of the battle? Look at his infantry. Seven units in his general, <coughs> general unit there. So, as I say, um, that cavalry of legions could prove pivotal here. His infantry are so battle depleted. I'm not sure how well they'll do. He's still got his archer units here. With they're still carrying bows, so they've still got some arrows left. He may well have to use them as light infantry as the battle unfolds. If you notice here, I'm starting to set up a little bit of a defensive formation. Can you see how I'm covering the flanks of my formation here? <clears throat> I think those Spanish bull warriors are still throwing in uh, javelins into my units here. I'm still getting pelted by loads and loads of Earth's um, arrows there shooting into me. If you notice here, can you see um, Legion's uh, archers are still shooting into the enemy. Right, now this is a great hit here coming in from Legion's cavalry. And bang! As they smash into those exhausted uh, bull warriors. Okay, those bull warriors were exhausted, so all they needed was a hit to rout all of them there. But they've done their damage with their javelins. They've caused my forward units a lot of uh, casualties with their javelins. But now we've taken out those bull warriors. So that was a good little hit there by Legion's cavalry there. Now I'm just wondering if um, Earth's Julii infantry have still got pilots left to throw in. Because as you can see, my units are so battle depleted now, I could do without losing any more of them. Right, can you see Earth is now targeting Legion's cavalry with his archers? Causing several casualties in Legion's um, cavalry there from those archer units. Okay, so this is kind of like phase two of the battle here. The battle depleted troops on both teams now facing each other. And it'll be interesting to see what's going to happen here. Okay, if you notice, I'm starting to move my Mastodon Pikeman forward. Um, I feel that it might be time to take the battle to the enemy here. We have been quite defensive in some ways, so maybe it might be time to change defence into attack here. If you notice, I'm moving forward. As I say, maybe Legion's fully upgraded cavalry, as I said, it could prove decisive and pivotal to the battle. We will just have to wait and see. As I think most of the Julio troops have been taken, uh, cavalry have been taken out. Right, okay. As you can see here, all of Legion's archers have fired their arrows now, and they've got their small swords drawn, and they'll use those as light infantry now against the uh, the enemy troops. So I said the scene, uh, as I said, the scene is now set here for the final showdown of the battle. Right, you can see here, nice little move here by Legion, uh, charging his uh, archers forward into the Julii archer. You might want to pull his archers back there because those uh, fully upgraded Julii cavalry are moving towards his archers. Might be a good move to pull them back now before they get hit by those uh, cavalry units. I see, um, I think the uh, cavalry units of Earth are, are exhausted, so their battle proficiency will be low. But I notice his infantry are just winded, okay? So that's not going to really affect their battle proficiency that much. 
as I say, it's uh, it's a bit of a tactical showdown here. But as I say, Legion still got six cavalry units left. Yes, they might be battle depleted, but that may make the difference towards the end of the battle. Now, also, we know that uh, Legion is quite an aggressive player. And it looks like he's moving his infantry forward with a view to maybe take on those Julio archers. There you go. As you can see at a glance there, his infantry is so battle depleted. Um, I'm not sure how much damage they're going to do even against archers here. Okay, but he's still advancing forward. He still wants to be aggressive towards the Julio uh, team. Okay, oh my gosh, he's still got pilots left. So Legion's units have still got pilots left there and that Julio arm is going to hit him. Now, is he going to stand his ground? Or is he going to pull back? Nice move there to pull back. I think that was the prudent thing to do there at that stage, at this stage of the battle. At the moment here, you can see it's a bit tactical, a bit strategic, a little bit cat and mouse here on what we're going to do. Earth is one of the best tactical and um, strategic players, I think, in both CWB and 31K. So it'll be interesting to see how he approaches this. Um, it's kind of a final showdown here. Let's say I would think he would be reluctant to take Pikes on head on. He may well attack to hold and pin while he takes units around the flank, but uh, Legion's also got his units there to protect my flanks if need be. <clears throat> As I say, I'm still interested to see if they've got any pilers left. They haven't thrown any yet, so I'm guessing they may well be out of um, pilers, although maybe not. I can see they've. Uh, no, they're still, they've still got pilots left, still throwing him into my forward units there. But luckily Legion got some pilots as well, which is going to cause them um, uh, some casualties. So, if you were a betting man watching this, which way do you think this battle is going to go? As you can see, both Legion and myself, our units have extremely battle depleted, but... Uh, Earth seems to have most of his units left, most men left in his units. He's got a few battle depleted units, but if you look at the numbers, it looks like he's, uh, his units are maybe more populated than ours here. Okay, if you notice, he's attacking there. Put two units in Testudo. Right, can you see Legion's cavalry on? Bang! As they smash into those Julio units. As I say, maybe Legion's cavalry here could be the decisive factor in this battle. Notice how he's pushing his infantry there as well as his cavalry into those Julio units. Okay, you can see those fully upgraded Julio cavalry units starting to charge in as well now. Okay, it wouldn't surprise me if Earth threw in some infantry units there as well. Right, can you see he's throwing in more infantry units plus he's throwing his archer units in at all. Okay, so might be time now for me to... Uh, let's pause the game for a second. As you can see here, uh, there's a lot of Julio troops co closing in on Legion's troops here. But it might be time now for my units at this end of my formation to up spear, up pikes and run forward into the rear of those engaged Julio troops. What do you think? Okay, I think it's time for me to up my pikes and run forward to support my uh, Brutio ally. There you go. Right, can you see I've upped pikes and I'm just going to run those guys forward into the flank and rear of those engaged Julio troops here. Okay, I'm just running them forward with their swords at the moment. Probably when I uh, make contact there a little bit more deeper with them, there you go, I've put the pikes down. And straight away there you can see a lot of the Julio infantry are now starting to rout. Now remember those Julio infantry only had gold shield, gold attack on them. And there you are, you can see Legion's cavalry smashing in. They're charging into the enemy troops. And uh, it looks like our team has... Um, I've just gone on to, to win the battle. As you can see, it's a close victory there. That's probably what we thought. We thought it would be a close victory. Um, very, very close, in fact. But I'd just like to draw your attention to RV Earth's kills. 1,921. Only 79 um, kills off of 2,000 in a 3v3. Okay, so that's really, really good. To nearly get 2,000 kills in a 3v3. And really well played to Legion 22 too. 1,840. Did really good there. Lando and Srax probably didn't get the kills that they were hoping for there. Um, but uh, just to say, really well done to Earth and Legion. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, Sunday bonus battle. Um, I just thought I'd put this on for you as a little bit of interest. Lots of different factions. Spartan Commander saying bye for now.